But <laughs> The, the ball don't turn, oh, now it has turned against the Nigerian army. Just stay tuned on this channel, don't go. Make sure you listen to this news from beginning to the end so you will see what is happening. It is, sometimes it's good for, like I said, when you are doing things, put yourself in another man's shoe. Now, the, the, the battle has turned against Nigerian army. It has turned against them. Just pay rapt attention. If this is your first time of joining us on this channel, just hit the subscription button, the like button, and also the share button. Remember to own the notification button so that whenever our news drop, you will be the first who will collect them. Or listen to the full news. I mean, places officers on red alert over alleged IPOB onslaught. The indigenous people of Biafra is planning an ambush attack on the security operatives in, in the southeast. A Nigerian army memo has indicated. Sent to army commanders in the southeast on Thursday, the military internal communication warns soldiers to be on high alert and caution of their movement and conversations. The memo read, I am directed to inform, inform all officers and men of the command of a planned attack by aggrieved group IPOB on security agencies in the southeast. Intelligence revealed that the aggrieved group claimed that several of their members were killed in Abia on Monday, 31st, 2023. To ensure your safety and security of our formation and officers, it is advisable to remain vigilant and report any suspicious activity. It is also essential to watch your language in the public spaces and avoid making any inflammatory remarks that could escalate tensions. Please follow the instructions given in the message, including remaining vigilant, carrying your rifles while on guard duty, and refraining from wearing your uniform outside of the office premises barracks. Please follow the instruction given to ensure your safety and the safety of those around you. Thank you for your continued dedication. IPOB has continued to agitate for the realization of a sovereign state of Biafra comprising the old eastern region. His leader, Nam De Kano, is, the government, is in government detention and is under trial for treason. There has been escalation of violence against state assets, assets in the southeast since Mr. Kano was incarcerated, but the separatist group continued to deny involvement in the incessant attacks. My people now don't hear as if they happen. Uh, I don't know how this one is coming about uh, that i mean this news is coming from the people's gazette of course you know that this the people's gazette news was also the news that um shared peter b's uh, conversation with david oyedepo of um winners chapel church that has been causing pandemonium as it stands now in the nation and now they have published this news that they have intel uh, that indigenous people of Biafra are planning attack on the Nigerian soldiers and the soldiers are asking their people uh, to be very vigilant that something shocking is going to happen to them. Of course, you know that the other time uh, a report had it that about 50 IPOB members were slaughtered in uh, Aba Abia State after a shootout by the men of the Nigerian uh, military and um the news has it now by the gazette that uh the the ipob members are planning a retaliation uh, in order to pay back what the uh, nigerian army uh, did to their members but how true is this information and also how true is this news uh that uh the ipob members of course you know that um uh mazi emma powerful who is the Media and Public Secretary of the Indigenous People of Biafra has come out openly many times to, you know, de deny that IPOB has been involved in any uh, uh, violent attacks and uh, something uh, like that. Uh, but as it stands now, uh, 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 the, the, the army has released this memo that the IPOB are planning attacks on them. And uh, they are about that they have warned their members to be careful when moving about in order to avoid any attack from the IPOB, any attack from the IPOB members. 
Uh, but I will, we will still also have to hear from Mas Emma Powerful, who is the media, media and publicity secretary of the indigenous people of Biafra, in order to ascertain whether the, the, the information that was given to the men of the Nigerian army was sent by the men of the indigenous people of Biafra. Of course, you know the other time that uh, Emma Powerful came out and disassociated uh, themselves from what Simon Epa is doing and also who knows what emma powerful is going to say um in this uh, particular one that is ongoing that the men of the nigerian army are encouraging their men to be very careful they also ask them not to go on their uniform when they are not uh, within the military uh, barracks this is what is currently going on and if things continues like this if this is actually true i think this is going to cause a big pandemonium Yes, it's going to cause a big problem between the indigenous people of Biafra and the men of the Nigerian army as it stands. So uh, I think um, people should be careful, the soldiers should be careful, and also the IPOB uh, members should also be careful in what they are doing in order not to enter into big trouble. Another news, it also appoints Enwereji, new chief of staff, it also of Abia State, of course, you know that very soon Ibazu will be leaving office and he has appointed Enwereji as new chief of staff in Abia State. Listen to the news in details. The Abia State Governor Okeze Ibazu has appointed Chukwemeka Enwereji as his new chief of staff. This was contained in a statement on Wednesday by the Governor's Chief Press Secretary Onyebuchi Eme Manka. According to it, Enwereji holds a Bachelor of Law's degree from Abia State University as well as a Master of Law's degree from University of Lagos. He also attended the Nigerian Law School and is called to the Nigerian Bar. An established player in the financial service sector of the Nigerian economy, Mr. Enwereji served as company secretary and later general manager slash country head of travel legs. A well-known global financial service provider, the statement reads, In his new role, Mr. Emology will coordinate the activities of the Office of the Governor, ensuring seamless exit formalities for the administration. The Governor's spokesperson added that the appointment takes immediate effect. Last Thursday, the Governor approved the immediate sack of all political appointees in, this, in the state. Those affected include special assistants, senior special assistants, special advisors, and technical officers, thereby increasing the number of appoint appointees sacked by the governor after his failed senatorial election bid and his inability to install, install his successor. So does it mean that um, why he is sacking uh, some of his aides is because he lost uh, his senatorial bid and also um, he failed to you know, place his uh, successor in the, in the, uh, to replace him in the office of the governor in Abia State. Um, that is um, a very bad one if the reason why he sacked his people is because uh, maybe uh, he has given the mandate and they have failed um, to deliver. Of course, you know what Nigerian politics looks like that uh, uh, before you will be given an office, there must be a tax attached to it and when one fails to you know fulfill that obligation or tax uh, that is where you face a uh, fire from your your superiors <laughs> and that causes problem i think um assistance now uh okay Zay Bazo of other state is in a very difficult corner uh, because the current um, um, uh, governor elect of other state have ordered uh, the 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 free the freezing of Abia State uh, account, all the accounts located in all banks should be freeze uh, for now. That you know, that let there be no transaction. But I think that uh, okay, Zay Bazu said that he has been paying workers their salary about 21,000 to 30 something thousand workers that has been working for Abia State. That since he assumed office, that all those workers have received their pay, and he will not stop that at the end of his tenure, that he will continue to.